Welcome, everybody, to Library Out Loud, the official podcast for Hanley Regional Library System. I'm Matt Swain, Public Relations Manager for the system, and I'm your podcast host. Today, we are joined with Amelia. She is from our Adult Services Department. Amelia, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me, Matt. Well, Amelia, I know that you are here to talk about a lot of different things. We have a lot of really cool updates in the adult services department. Uh, we have things like reader's advisory. We have some new newsletters. We have a really great tool called Novelist where people can find some read-alikes and different ever, other things to read. But also know that you are our science fiction and kind of fantasy expert. And we'd love to hear from you maybe some recommendations on that or maybe kind of what you're reading in that area. Sure, I've got a couple of recommendations um, and there's a couple of different library resources that I'd also like to talk about that will, you know, help you find your own books that you will, you know, fall in love with, hopefully. Um, so I wanted to talk about some newer sci-fi and fantasy recommendations and how to find new sci-fi and fantasy. And I also have some kind of older ones to talk about as well that are kind of like hidden gems in the collection or things that people might not know about and recommendations for how to find those as well. Okay, so for the newer sci-fi and fantasy recommendations, I have one that came out a couple of years ago, but the, um, the sequel just came out to it. The book is called An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. Um, the sequel, A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor, just came out, I think, last month. I haven't had a chance to read that yet. But An Absolutely Remarkable Thing is a fantastic book. It is smart. It's funny. It's like speculative fiction more than sci-fi. Um, it's about this girl who finds this giant robot in the middle of the night in New York City that just kind of appears out of nowhere. And nobody knows about it yet. She's like the discoverer. So she like posts a video on her social media and she becomes overnight like the most one of the most famous people in the world because she's like the discoverer of this crazy phenomenon. And the book is kind of about how she deals with that fame. The, the robot is, or a statue, it's more like a statue, I guess, um, almost kind of takes a, a bit of a backseat because it's mostly about her, um, which is why I would characterize it as speculative fiction rather than sci-fi. But she's like really like realistic, relatable, flawed female main character, which is like something that I always really enjoy in books because, you know, it's somewhat rare, rare um, depending on what you like to read. <laughs> but yeah, An Absolutely Remarkable Thing um, was a great book and uh, you should check out the sequel too, A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor. Well, great. And you also have a newer title that you want to share as well. Yes. Um, the, one of the newer titles is How Long Till Black Future Month by N.K. Jemisin. Um, this is actually a short story collection um, and it features the story Stone Hunger, which was later developed into her Broken Earth trilogy, which is one of her most famous works. Um, I've only read the first book of the Broken Earth trilogy, but it was absolutely amazing. It's more of a traditional fantasy book, as in it's, it's kind of like harder fantasy. It, it takes place in kind of um, an alternate universe where there is like magic and you know, sword fighting and, and things like that. Um, and the short story collection features the How Long Till Black Feature Month, the short story collection features a whole bunch of other stories. Um, but Stone Hunger is kind of the, the main one there. And N.K. Jemisin is like a very, she writes, she writes characters very well. So if you really like character driven fantasy, she is a great author for that. And we also have a lot of different readers advisory resources for our patrons. We have our Next Reads newsletters where a patron can sign up for the newsletter based on topics and genres they like to read. And then our librarians will actually put together some reading recommendations. They can receive that email list in their inbox. Yes, and I am the curator for the Fantasy and Science Fiction newsletter, which is a monthly newsletter. Um, you'll get all the newest fantasy and science fiction in your inbox. And, and how does someone uh, subscribe to that? Where do they go on our website for that? Um, if you go on our website to the adults page, uh, there is a link on there to sign up. Um, and it'll bring up a list of all of the newsletters that we have. So you can just select the ones that sound interesting to you, the different genres, uh, different categories, and you can just um, pick as many as you want and sign up. Fantastic. Well, that makes it easy. And you also have some kind of hidden gem 
uh, uh, recommendations here. I know you've done a lot of digging, a lot of research for this. What are kind of two, you know, kind of really cool hidden gem titles that you want to recommend? One that I'm actually in the middle of reading right now was recommended to me by a friend. Uh, the Fallout video game series is actually based in part on this book. It is A Canticle for Leibowit by Walter Miller. Um, as I said, I'm not finished with it yet, but so far I would categorize it as like weird literary sci-fi. It's very dense, but very rewarding. Um, and it's kind of dryly funny. Like it's hard to explain what it's about really because it is very kind of esoteric. But if you enjoy stuff that's, like I said, like dense, but rewarding, something like kind of weird and off the beaten path, I would, I would definitely recommend it. And fans of the Fallout series will definitely, um, you know, if you're, you're reading it, you'll go like, oh yeah, okay, now I know where they got that. Um, there's a lot of cool little, cool little things um, in that book. The other one I had was uh, The Left Hand of Darkness by Ursula Le Guin. This is a personal favorite of mine. Ursula Le Guin is probably my favorite author of all time. Um, she is really great at character-driven books as well. Uh, she was an anthropologist, so all of the cultures and the alien races in her books feel very fleshed out and real. Um, and The Left Hand of Darkness is no exception. This book is about um, a ambassador from a galactic commune or government that visits uh, an alien planet to kind of learn about their culture. And the book explores kind of an unlikely friendship between this ambassador and uh, a person on that planet that he ends up going on this kind of unexpected journey with. And it's, it's very, very cool. It's very cool, very character driven. Um, and it feels, it feels very real. You know, that's, that's what I like about a lot of the science fiction and fantasy uh, titles is there's a lot of different, you know, obviously imagination and concept. And there's also, uh, you know, some humor and even, you know, some history, you can learn some things along with that along the way too. And it's kind mm -hmm. of like something that you never know what to expect, I think. Yeah, it's, it's really great because it's, books like this are just such a great way to kind of expand your horizons and just kind of get you thinking about like, especially The Left Hand of Darkness, I would say is a great book to read if you want to think about the assumptions that you have about, uh, you know, things that just occur in your everyday life. Uh, a big theme in The Left Hand of Darkness is um, gender because the, um, the, the ambassador who goes to this planet comes from a culture very like ours that has, you know, the very binary, like male and female genders. And then he, the planet that he visits, actually, the, the people there have no concept of gender. Um, they don't have gendered pronouns. They don't, they have like very androgynous bodies. And so a big part of this book is the culture shock that the ambassador experiences there and how he kind of learns to see these people as, you know, as, you know, humans instead of like weird aliens, because he doesn't initially know how to interact with them. So Amelia, you've gave some really great um, recommendations on, on those two um, genres there. But what about, I, I, I know that you work with patrons on a daily basis. So if patrons uh, come up to the information desk, or if they have questions either over the phone or through email, of, of what do I read next? You know, here's certain things I'd like, how can you help me with that? Um, and I know we have a new book match service. So how can you help with that? Sure. Um, there's a couple different things that I like to recommend to people. Um, I'll talk about those first and, and then I'll talk about book match. One thing I like to recommend is, uh, especially for science fiction and fantasy, if you're looking for new authors, um, I would highly recommend checking out anthologies. Um, the library has tons and tons of science fiction and fantasy anthologies where it's, it's basically just like a little sample platter for the genre where you can read you know, a novelette or a short story by, you know, whatever author catches your eye, there's, you know, a hundred or so stories in each anthology. So I've used those to find new authors myself. Um, we also have the fantasy and science fiction magazine, which you can find in the periodicals room here at Handley, or just on the um, magazine racks over at Bowman. Um, 
that is kind of a similar thing in that it has lots of short stories from newer science fiction and fantasy authors. And it also just has, you know, in related interest articles about like, you know, new books that might be coming out soon and things related to the genre. So, and another great tool that we have is kind of a newer one, uh, which is called Book Match. This is a service that we started offering a couple of months ago um, where we just have a little interest form that you fill out telling us a little bit about what kind of books you like to read, what you're in the mood to read next, you know, different aspects of books that you enjoy, and also things that you don't enjoy, things that you want to avoid. Maybe you want to avoid, you know, graphic violence or squares. You can just tell us, you know, what you like and what you dislike about books. We in the adult services department will curate a list of books for you that we think you might enjoy based on your preferences. And we just send that to your email. And you can do this either in person. We have little forms that you can fill out, paper forms that you can fill out at the information desk. And you can also go online um, to our website to fill that out. The book match link is on the adult services page as well on the library website. So if you go to our homepage and then click on the adult link, that will take you to a, uh, a little banner that says book recommendations, please. I tell you, I love everything about that, um, especially with book match. It's something I've used both as an employee and a patron of the library system. I, I really like uh, murder mysteries. I'm, I'm a sucker for those. And so I mm -hmm. filled one out uh, when we first launched it. And uh, within a, a matter of days, um, based on the questions that I answered, things I like to read, things I didn't like to read, uh, maybe some, some recent um, books that I've read, uh, within a matter of days, I received uh, a whole list of uh, reading uh, material that was recommended to me by our expert and skilled library staff. And uh, I certainly use it. It helped me kind of discover a, a new author. I really, really enjoyed that. And I certainly encourage all of our listeners, if uh, you're looking for a specific reading recommendation or maybe you want to try out something new, certainly uh, Bookmatch is a, is a fantastic place to start there. It is a, a personal service that really um, uh, puts the, our, our staff to work there and they, they do a lot of really deep digging and uh, they'll come up with some really cool recommendations there. So certainly you can go to hanleyregional.org slash bookmatch to get to that web page. So Amelia, you talked about a lot of different things here. Um, some great recommendations, amazing readers advisory tools. Um, what are the, what the best ways for someone to, I guess, find out more information or to stay in contact uh, with us? One of the best ways is to look at the adult page on the uh, HanleyRegional.org website. The adult services page has um, a blog that is updated a couple times a month talking about, you know, new services or, you know, something like I just did, like Reader's Advisory. Um, there's always something new on the blog. Um, another thing you can do is send us an email, info at HanleyRegional.org for any specific questions. Um, you can also give us a call at your local branch. And of course, you're always welcome to find adult services staff on the floor at any branch um, at the information desk or if we're wandering around. Um, you can always flag us down and we're always happy to help with Reader's Advisory and any questions that you might have. That's great. And that, that website address to get to the adult page, it's HanleyRegional.org backslash adults. Uh, and it's got a lot of great resources there that Amelia has talked about. Uh, well, Amelia, thanks so much for joining us today. It's been a, a, a great conversation. Certainly, I learned a lot about the science fiction and fantasy genre. And I certainly appreciate your time. This is Amelia from the Adult Services Department of the Hanley Regional Library System. I'm here to answer the age-old question of, what do I read next? We have a new service called Bookmatch provided by Adult Services staff. All you have to do is fill out a form with your reading likes and dislikes, and you'll receive a personalized list of recommended books in your email inbox. Visit hanleyregional.org bookmatch or fill out a paper form at the information desk at any of our three locations.